right friends welcome back to the sawmill today we are finishing up this butternut and it's looking really nice today guys i went ahead and flipped it over and the last boards here that we're cutting are going to be five quarter thickness the width is nine and a half inches of course the timber is eight and a half feet long so we started this log in the previous video in case you missed that one there's a link down below to it and we got some really nice boards out of that one over here i think i got stacked up about seven of them and they're about 14 inches wide, really nice boards. And I could have cut these at 14 inches wide, but I think I want some shorter stock. I got some ideas of what I want to do with these boards once we run through the kiln. And I had a few questions in the last video about kiln drying these. We will dry these in the kiln after the air dry for probably two or three months in the summertime on five quarters. All you need to bring the moisture down to put it in the kiln. And you can dry butternut with walnut because it's in the same family. It's not really going to hurt anything. So we'll put that in there with some more five quarter walnut to finish it off in the kiln. And the only downside to butternut that I found, and I was talking to my buddy Robert in Alabama about this last night, is there's a little bit of fuzzing that happens on the grain. It kind of tears with you just a little. And I noticed that when I was scraping off the sawdust in the last video, if you saw that before we threw water on it, when I was running that scraper against the grain, it was kind of tearing the grain back just a little. And he said, once this runs through the kiln and you run it through a planer, sometimes it does that again on the very end of the process here. So that's something you gotta watch out for on butternut, I guess, is to make sure you're always going with the grain because it has a bad tendency to tear out. But this is some really nice boards and some beautiful lumber. These boards right here will have no sap wood at all in them. Let me bring in the camera. We'll look at these first few boards and uh maybe throw some water on them you never know stick with me here guys got a lot going on today it's starting to tear up there as well that's the only problem with this stuff i don't know if you guys can see it but the grain is tearing out against the drywall knife here and the dust is blowing right back in my face I need to turn around
right now friends we're back out here after dinner and this is what's going on right now right here is all the ash that i've been sawing for the past few days it's all five quarter material most of it gets stacked right there and it also goes back here to the saw horses and i picked it up with the tractor and i'm taking these straight to the kiln and we should have the kiln loaded up by tomorrow and we'll start drying that stuff out and over here beside it on the floor is the butternut we just finished up. We got our real nice 14 inch wide planks right here and the nine inch ones right there and right there. As soon as I get this ash out of here, we'll go ahead and stack that up and stick her and get it off the floor. But this is what's going on here in the next few days. I'm getting ready to saw into this ash right here. Got a lot of terrible end checking right there on the small end. Pretty small log actually. Over here on deck, we have one, two, three more ash logs. Let me step out here and I'll show you what's after it. So back here in my pile of stuff that's ready to be sawed up, we have, uh, I think that's yellow pine, yellow pine, yellow pine, white pine, and uh, both those are yellow pine right there also. I'm sorry, a uh, white pine on that one. Now this stack over here, I got about two or three more ash in there, one butternut, and maybe another oak. I have to, I'm not sure what's in there, I can't remember. So a lot of stuff up here ready to be sawed, guys. Got a lot going on. It's a busy summer. So we'll go ahead and cut the sawmill back on. And we'll finish this video out doing this ash right here into five quarter boards. So hang in there with me guys we'll finish this one out i'm probably a sweaty mess right now but up here doing cleanup hauling off these slabs to the burn pile it's getting late it's actually about 8 30. i think we can finish off this ash before we call it a night well, thanks for watching everybody one more quick thing on friday the t-shirt sale ends so if you want a t-shirt you better get on it there's a link down below on friday we're going to end the sale so well, thanks to everybody that's ordered t-shirts so far this is the biggest uh I guess number of orders we've ever gotten in t-shirts before. It's pretty cool. So uh, thanks for watching. If you want a t-shirt, the link's down below.